What is up? I'm Chelsea Briggs coming to you from the Billboard News Channel where let me tell you, a lot of big music news went down this week and we've got the top three stories for you right here. Of course, it's only fitting to start with Kendrick's damn. Damn, Daniel. That's right, the word of the week. Thanks to Kendrick Lamar, who dropped his highly anticipated LP last Friday, followed by an epic Coachella performance, you guys. I was there, it was life changing. It was also the topic of conversation in pretty much every interview I did at the festival. It's really nice to just to hear a great album with something really poignant and, and uh, important to, 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 to say, you know? Church is on Sunday. Church is on Sunday. Kendrick Lamar is church on Sunday. To top it off, industry insiders forecast that this album could be the biggest debut of 2017. My partner in crime, Kevin Kenny, reported on the news on Tuesday. According to industry forecasters, Damn could earn around 475,000 equivalent album units in the week ending April 20th, which would top his previous two releases, Untitled Unmastered, which earned 178,000 units in its first week, and 2015's To Pimp a Butterfly, which earned 363,000 units in its opening week. All right, moving our focus along to Justin Bieber, who this week proved he is still the king of dominating YouTube numbers. What do you mean? What I mean is he had the biggest music debut of the year on YouTube after remixing Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee's popular Latin song, Despacito. Oh, and there's more. Kevin, that's your cue, take it away. Through its first 24 hours alone, the remix has garnered approximately 37 million views worldwide. Now as popular as Justin is, the original had been doing alright far before the Biebs came along. Accumulating over 990 million views while spending 11 straight weeks atop the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart. You guys at home had tons to say about the remix. On Twitter, Angie Aguilar complimented Justin on his Spanish, saying it was perfect. And on YouTube, Handy Cordero made mention that she wants to marry both Bieber and Luis. Not sure that's legal, but you know what? I support it. Dream big. Purple And sadly, today marks the one year anniversary since we lost a true legend in the music industry, the one and only Prince. While a legal battle between Prince's estate and the producer behind his Deliverance EP may prevent us from ever hearing his unreleased music, this week his former band, The Revolution, kicked off their US tour in an effort to celebrate the late musician and keep his memory alive. Ugh, pretty insane week, you guys. Okay, well for more on this delicious music news, subscribe to Billboard News, where you will not only get daily videos filling you in on everything you need to know regarding your favorite artists, but you'll also get to hang out with me and Kev. And Kev Dog's cool, I'm cool, we're, we're cool, right? Guys, cool? If Kevin was here, he would agree with me. Anyways, thanks for watching, and come on, come with me.